Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can stake your Fala coins on Kala Network, which is the canary network of Fala Network, but on Kusama. Now, the reason why I'm doing a dedicated video for this is because I do believe it actually needs one. It's just that it's not as easy as people think. I mean, it's very easy to stake, don't get me wrong, but there are some things that you need to keep in mind. And so I'm going to use my knowledge so far from all the research I've been doing on this to hopefully help you understand what to best pick when you decide to stake to one of these validators or to multiple validators, which should be the key term here. So let's talk about that. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to the Fala Network app website, whose link I'm gonna be posting in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment for you to check it. And then what you need to do is you need to make sure Kala is selected. Now it does get selected by default, which is the Canary Network, of course. And then you just connect your Polkadot.js wallet. Now, if you actually want to send Kala to your wallet, you actually send Fala. So, so even though we are on Kala network, we are still using the Fala coin in this case, because Fala is using the exact same coin for both Fala network and for Kala network on Kusama. When there's going to be a bridge, then it's basically going to transfer over the coins from Kala Network over to Fala and vice versa. So you'll be able to be on both. And of course, you do have to expect that the APR is going to drop because at the end of the day, there will be validators on both parachains. But for now, we can enjoy the beauty of the high APR on this awesome Canary Network. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you is that there will be a halving event on the 22nd of November as estimated here, as you can see at 1221 GMT. And what this actually means is that the APR is going to get halved. So anything that you see here with like say 140% is going to be halved that. So it's going to be 70.5%. But that's not the end of the world, right? I mean, it's still a quite a high APR and that's supposed to last for more or less six months, depending on from my discussion with, uh, with the team members. And so let's move on to the next uh, part of the uh, staking process here. So you connect your Polkadot.js wallet, you select which wallet you want. So in my case, it's Polkadot.js. And then I have to authorize it. So I have to select yes, allow this application access. I have a test account here, test state mine. I just simply select the account. And now up on the top right hand corner here, as you can see, I do see my balance, which is zero. But if I had a balance, I mean, it would show here. Now, remember that if you're buying enough financial advice, but if you want to stake Fala on the Kala network, you can buy it on Qcoin, for example, or on Binance, and you can transfer it out on the Kala network. So you need to make sure you select Kala network and not Ethereum because the Fala token is also an ERC20 token on Ethereum. But then there's also the Kala network version of Fala, which is for the Canary network on Substrate on Kusama. So yeah, that's the difference, right? Just make sure you select the correct network. I don't think exchanges will actually even allow you to withdraw if you use an Ethereum address, but you select Kala network or if you use a substrate address, but you select Ethereum. I don't think they let you do that anyway, because now there's a lot of validation when it comes to withdrawing. So it's not like back in, the, in like a few years ago when people used to make that mistake and transfer out. So no, don't worry about that. I think you should be fine. Just make sure you are copying the public address from Polkadot.js from the Kala Network section uh, for your specific account, which is associated to your Polkadot.js account. In my case, this is the Kala Network public address, but obviously my substrate address is going to be different, which is linked to my Polkadot.js, uh, which as you can see here, it is different because it starts with 5EX, okay? So that's the generic address. And then from this, we derive that to other parachains. Uh, this is the thing that I've been discussing in uh, the tutorial explaining how Polkadot.js works and so on. But let's move on to the next piece of topic here. So once you send your Fala over to your wallet and you see the balance here, then you need to think about selecting a validator. And who do you select? Well, we obviously want to look at the highest APR, but we have to keep in mind the um, trust, right? Because what if they go offline? What if they change their commission, which is the one thing I want to talk about to 100%? Well, if they do that, then you don't get any rewards. And so you need to make sure you're doing it with a trusted uh, validator. But even if the ones that you see here, but here with the tick, uh, show up as reasonable, it doesn't necessarily mean that they can be 100% legit. Because as you see here, we do have a commission of 6% for this one and 122% APR. But if we stake with this one, if we hit delegate, okay, we hit delegate, we choose our amount. How much do we want to stake? Let's say you want to stake 
1000 okay then you pay the fee you confirm you sign the transaction and you're done but what this delegate or this uh, validator can then do is they can ultimately change this commission immediately to 100% if they want to right if they want to screw with you they can do that so just bear that in mind this is the reason why i wanted to do this video and to to show the importance of choosing the right delegators and distributing it okay distribute with multiple validators don't just rely on one and as you can see these ones look quite good right five percent 119 percent apr but five percent commission three percent commission this one's quite high here uh, but remember that they can lure you in and then you can get in trouble because if you want to unstake due to their 100 percent commission change then it will take seven days for you to get your coins out and so to me i think a good way to solve this problem would be to create a proposal uh, for the community to use their fala and to vote in that proposal in the referendum more specifically and to impose some kind of restriction on these validators so that they can't just change commission straight away and so that they're limited to changing this commission maybe to like two times or three times a year maybe even 10 times a year at the end of the day but as long as they're limited in changing their commission that should prevent the bad actors from taking advantage of people staking and that should give uh, a positive vibe to staking rather than a negative vibe because you now have to worry about checking every single time to see if this validator has changed their commission but for now because we don't know uh, when they're going to change it and how how things are going to be going forward uh, especially if this kind of referendum will happen i'm personally thinking to actually create a proposal for this and see if i can get the support from the community uh, but uh, let's assume that it doesn't pass then what you have to do constantly unfortunately is you have to click on one of these uh, validators and then it opens up the subscan page with the validator address and uh, if we scroll down of course we can see the amount that they've staked themselves so they've got 211,427 uh, fala staked here on their validator uh, 27,908 and this is their own stake basically for the node and then here if we look down you could see fala stake pool set payout preference now if you click on this arrow here you can see that they've changed the commission to six percent here so 60,000 actually means six percent because he uses the bits and uh, if we scroll down further we can see that they've also changed that just before that to a different amount right it's loading it's very slow at loading i'm not sure why there was quite slow loading so i uh, fast forwarded the video but here we could see that it's got 200,000. okay so this validator actually had the commission set to 20 percent and then it changed it to six percent right and then if we look down here uh this one was the same so two hours and 48 minutes ago so they're constantly changing and they're changing very quickly as well i'm not sure why it's showing so quickly uh, as you can see here i'm not sure if it's just multiple signatures that you need to go through but uh, this is how it looks here so uh, this is why you need to check the history it's very important because they can basically do that if they want and if they do it if they change it to 100 percent while you're sleeping you obviously can't take action so you're going to be basically giving them free rewards so that's something you got to keep in mind here this is the risk now there are a number of validators which can be trusted apparently uh, i can't say the name because it is quite an obscene one but apparently is quite trusted uh, in the community but then if you really want to see one that's trusted uh, it does have higher commission it is 15 percent, but this is the actual fala teams validator so the fala team obviously have their own validator too and this is fala dot 100k dev but then there's also the other one that i told you which is also trusted in the community uh, i can't say the name unfortunately because i'm afraid youtube might block it because it is a dirty name i don't know uh, why they did that but anyway maybe as a joke so yeah fala dot 100k dev uh, has a decent apy here 102 percent i am staking with them they do have multiple validators set up here multiple process ids so they've got multiple pools i should say because the same validator can have multiple pools as you can see it is the same address but multiple pools so you can stake up to 277,000 fala on this pool and uh, up to 407,697 on this pool so that's the idea here now the other thing i want to talk about here is with regards to the free delegation so if you see something in the free delegation section here under this column for example 5998 fala what does this actually mean well it means that if you want to undelegate you don't need to wait seven days to receive your coins as you normally have to you can just undelegate 5998 fala instantly okay you sign the transaction and you get them as your available balance in your wallet which you can then send to an exchange to sell if that is what you want to do if that is your intention okay 
So that's how that works here. It's just to keep in mind that you should check this constantly. Uh, if you want to check the commission really quickly, all you have to do is uh, go to my delegate and you can see the validators that you've delegated with. And then they've all got a process ID here. So that's how you can differentiate the different pools, even if it's the same validator. And let's say you want to check if this has changed from 15% to something else. Uh, well, you can't actually see it in the my, my Delegate section, so that's why you need to search for the PID because in the My Delegate section, it doesn't show you all the columns, unfortunately, and not the commission column. So you have to manually type in 3147 in this case. Okay, and now we can see the commission here, so you'll know if it's changed. And if it's 100%, obviously, you should undelegate as soon as possible because that means they're trying to rob you. They're a dirty validator and you shouldn't trust them, okay? So that's something that you should keep in mind. And what I personally recommend is that you should distribute, think decentralized, right? Think decentralized and distribute to multiple validators. Don't only stake on one validator. Maybe four, maybe five, maybe even seven, like not too many because then it does become complicated, right? To manage everything, but maybe to like five or six, I would say is the right amount of validators that you could be distributing to with a higher APR, with a general commission, a decent commission, but also ones that can be trusted. Okay, and uh, don't forget that uh, if you wanna claim your rewards, even if you are on multiple validators, you don't actually have to claim from each one because the Fala team have created a cool feature here in the My Delegate section that allows you to claim those rewards together. So they're all summed up and then you can claim them from all the different validators. So that's awesome. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's short tutorial. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below, have you been affected by any scam validators or Kala network uh, which changed their commission from a specific number to 100% overnight. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.